Former child star Zachary Ty Bryan is back in the spotlight, but for all the wrong reasons. Here's why he's in the news with new legal woes. Bryan became a child star playing Brad Taylor, the oldest son of Tim the Toolman and Jill Taylor, on the popular 90s sitcom Home Improvement. Even three decades later, that role remains the biggest one that Bryan has had to date. Unfortunately, Bryan has found himself in the public eye for something much less glamorous than his acting work. He's been arrested twice for domestic violence. The actor's latest arrest was on July 28, 2023, in Eugene, Oregon. The Eugene Police Department gave a statement to People with some details about the situation, saying, Eugene Police received report of a physical dispute between a male and adult female at a North Eugene residence. The dispute was reported to have occurred several hours prior, and the suspect had left the location. Once Brian was found, he was booked into Lane County Jail and charged with assault in the fourth degree under the state's Abuse Prevention Act. The woman involved in the alleged assault has not been named as of the making of this video. Brian was arrested in October 2020, also in Eugene, and charged with domestic violence against Johnny Faye Cartwright, a woman with whom he'd been having an affair while still married to his now ex-wife Carly Matros. The details of what happened laid out in the police report sound pretty horrifying. The report reads in part, Brian is reported to have assaulted the victim, impeded her breathing, and taken the victim's phone from her when she tried to call 911. The two have been in a relationship. According to this three-page affidavit, Zachary Bryan allegedly assaulted his victim here at the tennis apartments in Eugene all over a phone charger. Brian pled guilty to two charges, menacing and assault in the fourth degree, constituting domestic violence. He got three years of probation. He also faced additional charges of assault in the fourth degree, as well as coercion, harassment, strangulation, and interference with making a report, but those were all dropped. As part of his probation, he was ordered to cut off contact with the victim and complete a violence intervention program. The 2023 charge against Brian mentions the Abuse Prevention Act, which involves restraining orders for victims of domestic violence. Again, it's currently unknown whether Cartwright was the woman involved in the most recent incident. But according to Us Weekly, Cartwright and Brian got engaged in November 2021, and they have three children together. Just over a month before Brian's second arrest, in June 2023, The Hollywood Reporter published an article about the actor's difficulties, including the 2020 assault case. Brian told the outlet it had been blown out of proportion. He and Cartwright had both been drunk, he claimed. In the police report from that night, Brian contended that Cartwright had bitten him during the fight and hurt herself to try and ruin his career. Brian told The Hollywood Reporter, "...we didn't even really get that physical. We got really loud. We were screaming." Of his charges, Brian didn't seem to think they actually applied to him, saying, "...I could have fought it, but that's more stress and drama. I got two misdemeanors and called it a day." As for his TV dad's reaction, Tim Allen said, "...Zach is a great kid who has grown into a complex man. At a certain point, he deviated from the guy I know to somebody who is reacting to situations that I had nothing to do with and can't control." Brian has also been arrested on DUI charges multiple times, most recently in 2020. Cartwright was also arrested in April 2021 for assaulting security guards at a Eugene bar. Her sentence included two years of probation. If you or someone you know is dealing with domestic abuse, you can call the National Domestic Violence Hotline at 1-800-799-7233. You can also find more information, resources, and support at their website.